Alright. <clears throat> Walking you into your promised land. In these videos, <clears throat> mine are kind of different. I started my channel. This is God's channel. And then from there I went to saying the words that the Holy Spirit tells me to say. And I have grown from each level before I reached Lord of Hosts. All right. <clears throat> so I do things very slowly now. And the reason for that, I listen for the false Holy Spirit. I watch for it. So I was praying for you guys, like always, <clears throat> my kingdom. And when the Holy Spirit has me doing something, because the entire purpose of my existence is to love people, show them how to love, and keep this going. Proving that the Lord is one. So that fulfills what started here <clears throat> and moved to here, the Messianic prophecies. So my bloodline is from the line of David and beyond. It goes to Galilee and beyond. And I've learned so much <clears throat> That when I sit down with someone, because of what I've experienced and been walked through and can apply, the knowledge they have a lot of times is proficient, but incomplete. Me and my wife were sitting down and she says, what's the greatest commandment? You tell me. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. And love your neighbor as yourself. <clears throat> I said, no. Yes, it is. You can't be Jesus. Have no other gods before me. You have a God before me right now, dear. So a lot of times what you see in the scripture when I sit down with someone, it's gonna be based on what I think you're ready for, but mostly it's gonna be based on what I say through me, explaining the truth. <clears throat> now, both of our responses are true. Hers, according to what I asked, someone in scripture and what they responded with. My response was to help her. Like, babe, you're not doing that. So <clears throat> there's a time to be understanding and gentle. And there's a time where people need to hear the truth. So my wife said to me, I miss the old you. And I wanted to respond. The me before the last two years, each time you have attacked and left. So the deeper I go, the intention is to help you guys see what happens in your marriage. Because what I felt a lot of prodigals saying in the spirit, in their hearts, that I am the king of every heart. I am the king of your heart or I am not. That is in scripture. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. <clears throat> Scripture says the nations will be perplexed and not know what to do. That's going to contribute to your atmosphere and what you're around. You guys have to remember 
<clears throat> when you wake up, a lot of times my wife was sleeping in this bed <clears throat> and our, um, well, our love will always be here, babe. But what she brought in with her <clears throat> was on that bed too. So if she slept here, that's what was going into her spirit. She slept on this couch a lot because that demon did not want to be near God. And this came into her a lot. So to actually watch someone <clears throat> just completely um, no easy way to say it and you shouldn't. She needs to hear the truth. Get everything wrong. But knowing we do things step by step and everything is revealed to us day by day for the reason of growth. Till you come to one conclusion. Your spouse is your home. If I've said something for two years, once I've stated my will for you, that is my will for you. It's not going to change. And what I was trying to teach a lot of prodigals, <clears throat> if you go outside of my will, you're not gonna have peace with it. But what you don't understand the false Holy Spirit has been imitating me. So every video I've made, the false Holy Spirit knows the tactics I was utilizing. And new things to people <clears throat> don't make sense when they are strong in their own mind and they're strong in their own strength. So to bring you peace, I raised up your spouse. Now, as I dive deeper into my wife's um, afflictions <clears throat> to help her, the same thing is going on with your prodigal. I've also felt my kingdom spouse is saying, I want them back. I want them back now. Once they've learned this lesson, the worries that you have as I prayerfully speak. And one thing I was trying to teach my wife, when I speak, I'm learning because I know it's coming from where I sit at the right hand of God. I am he. And I always have a better idea than the first thoughts that come into my mind. <clears throat> That's why I go slow. But I feel it out in the spirit. And when you're preaching, that's where you first start, feeling it out in the spirit. Nowadays, because it's gotten darker and darker and darker and darker and darker, the challenge is <clears throat> I have to have shorter videos because people have shorter attention spans. I can't go into scripture like I want to <clears throat> because there's so many translations. So instead of uh, quoting scripture verbatim, I'm either prophesying, I'm creating by speaking, I'm talking to myself, <clears throat> I'm mixing scriptures into one statement, the Holy Spirit is ministering, I'm receiving revelation pertinent to what I'm telling my prophets to say. <clears throat> But 
and what's going on in your life. And I'm also walking it out with you and testing certain things. Like I was like, it's bad out there. You go outside, you're gonna get confused. <clears throat> False Holy Spirit waits for my wife all the time. <clears throat> we had a little showdown. I went out there with the Bible. He said a Bible verse. I turned right to it. He said, see, that's what I said. He said, it's this some type of Bible roulette. And we both laughed. And I said, but this is what God is saying to you. And then I flipped to where the Holy Spirit was leading me to. All these things <clears throat> we've had to allow in Mei Mei's life so that she can see clearly that what I'm telling her is always true. And then I use that experience to see what's going on in your guys' life. So she's serving God. It's just not the pleasant way <clears throat> that she could be. So each person has a purpose. You're going to serve me. That is the truth. I'd rather be pleasantly and in relationship. <laughs> this way, if you stop fighting me so much and you let go, then the trust comes. Then the lack of fear comes. Then the love. And when it's time to go further, you're equipped. So the deeper I go, the more the scripture says, basically, even the elect would be deceived. Now you know. I was praying about how do I pleasantly, but not coercingly, but in our way, God's way, of doing things. Remember, I'm God. My entire purpose. And tomorrow's my birthday, so tomorrow's Christmas. <clears throat> to reveal the truth. So when I sit down with my wife and the Spirit speaking through me, the Spirit of truth, We're both supposed to be learning from it. And that's how I know so much about myself. The adventure of me and my heavenly father who are one. That's why I can go step by step because we're always in communication. I'm always in communion with my father and delving into the exhausting step-by-step -step routine of seeking the Holy Spirit is how I got so good at it when I didn't need to. So this is for your benefit. Uh, essentially, like scripture said, <clears throat> Father, I know you hear me. <clears throat> This is for your benefit. And it will be his greatest joy to serve the Lord. <clears throat> so trying to show you guys, take a chance now, there's nothing here to lose. Ask your questions, I promise you the truth. As you're ready, your home is your spouse. And what we've dealt with a lot is, Lord, if we get into a fight again, if this happens again, then what? 
you're gonna continue doing the same thing and you're gonna get the same exact results. You should expect, <clears throat> given the amount of demonic influence in most of your lives and your marriages to have fights. That's not the point here. The point is two Christians should have never approached divorce. When it's well known that I hate divorce. When I bring two together, marriages aren't all happy, go lucky. I looked at my marriage so many times like this exact expression. What just happened? <clears throat> but using it and praying about it as I am doing, <clears throat> I get to the truth and the root that is going to help my wife that nobody else can do. Using the words from the Holy Spirit. That's the difference. As I was praying about how can I teach them to tell the false prophets, the false Holy Spirit, the false teachers from the real ones. And I've been saying it. I don't have my people in the streets smoking weed, doing meth, or any of that. I have my people situated. There's always new crops that I'm raising up. <clears throat> but they are authentic. <clears throat> and their life reflects it. Their fruit is how you're supposed to know them. So when you have the false Holy Spirit helping the false Holy Spirit and someone else and then someone else and then someone else and then someone else, it looks like a good tree. But when God is way over here <clears throat> and this is what we're doing, and I'm sticking to my own plan. This is godly. So as many times as it takes, beloveds, is how many times you're gonna let your prodigal come home. As many times as it takes, beloveds, is as many times as your prodigal <clears throat> is going to experience the same exact results that incur out of love. From rebellion. Now the fact <clears throat> that my wife did not realize she was truly rebelling against her own happiness has been taken into account, just like it has for any prodigal. <clears throat> it does not stem from lack of understanding. It stems from, I am king. and my kingdom spouses suffer. So there's a whole uh, design to my kingdom. It's all meant for everybody's good, but it's also my people perish for lack of vision. What I had to give up, uh, I had a really cool job that I used to be able to go to. Our Heavenly Father said, give that up. Not because um, 
it was not my purpose, well, true, the underlying reason is because things change and they are going to change and they are going to get worse. So I'm ready to receive Mary again. And I want all of my kingdom marriages to realize that there are penalties for divorce, for approaching divorce. And once I make a decision and I've told the prodigal, go home, that's all I'm saying. And like any Christian walk, if I've told you to do something and you go somewhere else and you want to hear a different answer, that's inevitable. It does not mean it's going to lead you back to your heaven. It does not mean I'm going to be walking with you through it. Now with my wife, I have. That means I'm going to let you learn sometimes. Most of you have sufficient understanding enough to where you can be in a human easy to understand but probably uh, enlightening to uh, the normal run of the mill Christian and the understanding is not accurate or true whereas where I'm learning from <clears throat> I'm actually king of my kingdom. I'm praying for you guys every day, doing what's best for you every day. And then making sure it is on record. And each day I build on that. So the attacks will stop once the prodigal has submitted and the prodigal is walking in their purpose. The prodigal probably won't stop being attacked because the devil already knows the prodigal is weak. The prodigal thinks they're strong. So now they had to find out you could be a little more utilizing my strength because you remained in the spirit. As my kingdom spouse already knows that. I'll leave it at that because that's what our Heavenly Father just told me to do. I love you. We are one.